record. Here we go. What's up? I'm on that uh, that Jason Almy recording schedule. Uh, you know, releasing episodes like once a month or something. Uh, even though this episode is actually on the 2nd of February. Look at that. In fact, I think it's my second in less than two weeks. So I'm doing pretty good this month. Happy Thursday, everyone. It's Thursday, uh, Thursday evening, 10 o'clock at night. And uh, I'm getting better. Um, last time we talked, I was a little out of it. First of all, I was still a little, you know, tired and burned out from just, you know, everything. Um, but I'm feeling a lot better this week, uh, you know, as, as I come up to the end of this week. Um, I think that the last time that I did a podcast, I was still on um, some pretty hardcore drugs to mitigate some of the pain after the surgery. So, um, some of this is going to sound repetitive. Some of this, um, you know, is stuff that I mentioned on the last episode, but at least tonight I brought my little wire with me. So I'm not like on that time schedule of, I, I, I only have 30 minutes until my laptop battery dies. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, to go a little more in, in depth, if you will, on, on my accident, I think, uh, you know, as I've thought more about it, um, I think filling my tank beforehand, probably not a good idea to attempt a jump after filling my gas tank because, uh, because that's an extra, you know, I mean, it's, it's 11 gallons of fuel in there at, at about seven, ga- uh, seven pounds per gallon. You know, that's an extra 77 pounds that was in there. Um, and that's liquid weight. So, it just kind of moved around. That's probably what set me off center when I when I got up in the air. And who knows if I hadn't filled the tank, I probably would have gotten plenty of air in the first place. I probably wouldn't have needed all that shit. Um, but I am doing much better than I was. Uh, I had my second follow up appointment on Tuesday, and they took my my bandaging off. Um, they took all of my stitches out. Uh, you know, the doctor or nurse that, that did all of that said, uh, said everything looked good, no infection. So that's good. Cause they gave me the, my, my first follow-up appointment, they looked at the, the incision area and thought there might be some infection coming in. So they, uh, they put me on an antibiotic for a week. And, uh, when I went for my follow-up, they said there, you know, there was no signs of that anymore. So that's good. Um, took all my stitches out. This was on Tuesday, so just two days ago. I mean, it actually feels like it was a fucking week ago. It feels it feels like it's been a while, but took all my stitches out, put me in a boot instead of uh, the the bandaging that I was in. I was in. I, it wasn't a cast, but it was like a splint. It was kind of like a splint with an ace bandage, a bunch of ace bandages wrapped around it to keep everything in place. Um, so I am, uh, you know, now I'm in a boot. Um, and really there's, there's like these little, uh, they're like band-aids. They're kind of like band-aids that go over the incision area, um, to cover up that area just for now. Like they'll fall off on their own. The doctor or the nurse rather on uh, on Tuesday told me, you know, they'll, they'll fall off all on their own. A couple of them already have come off, um, So things are healing good. I haven't taken, today was the first time I took Advil. Um, Today was the first time I took Advil since Sunday. Uh, I haven't taken any pain medication since Sunday. And really, I think the only reason that I needed any pain medication um, was because uh, because this boot is actually fucking hurting me. Um, So... But I haven't had it off much. I've been sleeping with it on, which fucking sucks. I had it. I wore it the first night, Tuesday night. I wore it to bed, and I woke up sometime in the middle of the night and just had to take it off. It just hurt too much. Um, I'd rather have my ankle out there exposed than to have been in that boot for another. Like I woke up and it hurt, and it just the the pain just kept getting worse and worse and worse. So took that off on Tuesday night. Last night I slept through the night with it, but it still hurt, but not enough to keep me awake. And then uh, today, my mate, my, my beautiful row, was like, you know, maybe you should look into an air cast to sleep in. Um, so I, I went to Dick's Sporting Goods, which is a place that I hate to shop, but uh, I went in there anyways. And um, 
they didn't have an air cast, but they had some ankle braces. Uh, they had some brace options. So I found one that I think will work just to sleep in. Um, so hopefully I'll, I'll get like a better night's sleep tonight. But uh, I've been doing fucking yoga, trying to stay, you know, trying to keep my my weight control and my activity levels up. This morning I actually got up with Ro because I've been sleeping in so much. Like, you think that two weeks, three weeks of, hey, you can't go to work, you can't leave the house, you can't do anything, you just have to sit on the couch with your leg up. You think that sounds great until you actually do it. I'm telling you. Um, if you'd have told me a month and a half ago that that was going to be the case, I, there's a good chance I might have been like, oh, that sounds awesome. That's going to be great. I can fucking catch up on some TV shows. I can play some Fallout. I can, you know, do some stuff or whatever. It's awful. Like, I mean, eventually, the first week, actually, I wasted a bunch of time. The first week, re-watching a lot of movies that I've already seen a bunch of times. You know, I, I re-watched all three of the first Transformer movies. I re-watched a movie called Drop Zone with Wesley Snipes from the 90s, which is a, it, it's a good movie, but... Still was a way to waste two hours of my life. Um, I think I watched Red Notice. I watched Deadpool 2. Um, I watched a few other, other movies. Fast and Furious 6 and, and and I think 5 too. I think I watched Fast and Furious 5 and 6. Um, just a bunch of movies that like I've seen a bunch of times before. So that first week was a real fucking wash. Uh, at some point in that first week, Rochelle was like, you know, the new season of Ozark is out, and if you watch the first three seasons, then we can watch the new season together. So, I was like, okay, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a try. Because, honestly, the trailer for season four looked like something that I might like. So, I was like, okay, I guess, you know, I don't want to just start at season four. I'll, I'll watch the first three seasons, and, um, and then we can watch four together. So... I watched it. That show, if you, I, I, any, you know, I, I assume that there's a lot of people that are watching that show. Um, that is fucking dark. Like, that show is dark enough that I was watching it, and every two or three episodes, I would have to switch over to Hulu and watch a couple episodes of Modern Family so that I could balance out that that darkness with some comedy. I gotta, I, I gotta have that balance. I can't just fucking watch. You know, a full season of Ozark, and then a full season of Breaking Bad, and then a full season of Sons of Anarchy. Like, I am not that fucking psychotic. Like, there are some, like, Jason Almy strikes me as a person who could do that. He could probably sit behind the TV and watch the entire se- the entire series of Ozark or Breaking Bad and be like, yeah, whatever, I'm fine. No, I gotta balance it out with some funny. I gotta have some fucking good comedy in there somewhere. Um... You know, you watch a, a movie like Malif- Ma- yeah, Malignant, and you got to follow that up with a movie like, I don't know, The Hangover or something. Um, so that was the first week, but I definitely talked to you guys last week because it was after I did my taxes. So I had done my taxes. I've done some chair yoga and some Pilates stuff and trying to, you know, keep what I've, keep what I've been able to get so far. So it's been good, but... Um, Let's see here. Uh, so Tuesday morning, we go to the doctor uh, to the, yeah, we go to the, you know, the rehab. Or I don't know what to call it. It's a fucking office, whatever. It's a medical office. It's called Access Sports Medicine. So um, we go there, see the nurse there. He tells me, you know, you can get in the boot. Tells me I can drive. Um, I'm okay to drive uh, because it's my left foot and it's, I don't drive a clutch. I'm too old for that. Um you know, clutches for kids. Um, you know, if I want a clutch in my vehicle, I'm going to buy like a Subaru WRX or like a, you know, an old Toyota Supra or something like that. Um, you know, I'm going to buy a good car that requires a clutch. I don't see a need, you know, I, I got a friend that has a Toyota Tacoma exactly like mine. I think it's like two or three years older than mine. But, uh, but you know he he bought that and he was like gotta gotta be a manual gotta be a fucking like, has to be a manual fuck that shit I drove me and Ro drove to Virginia last year there's no way I want to make that drive to and from in a manual pickup truck there's no reason for it there's no absolutely no reason for it 
You put a stick in something that's sporty and fun to drive. You don't put it in your fucking daily driver pickup truck. It doesn't even make sense. It's it's dumb. It's it doesn't even make sense. Um so but anyways, I don't drive a stick. Um so I'm able to and I could probably I could probably make it work anyways even if I even if I needed to. If I really needed to, I could. Um so I'm fine with but whatever. Gives me the okay to drive. A uh, little disheartening in the moment. Uh, as as the days have gone by, I'm, I'm significantly more positive and more positive every day. But uh, in the moment when he was like, um, he was like, I want you to be in uh, in the boot for six weeks. I was like, God damn, six weeks of this fucking thing. And I had asked him, I was like, when can I go back to work? Because I do want to, you know, for multiple reasons. Um, I want to get back to work and that, you know, not just the sitting on the couch, but there's a, there's a money aspect to it. So for multiple reasons, I want to get back to work. So, um, so I was like, when can I go back to work? And he says, I don't want you to go back to work until you're out of the boot. So that's six weeks. And I'm kind of like, what the fuck, man? Like, I can't like, I gotta take six weeks off. Cause the problem was, it was kind of a miscommunication. The problem was, I'm asking straight up, when can I go back to making fucking money? He's understanding it as, when can I go back full time to do anything? And as we kind of worked our way through that moment, he says, you know, you can go back and you can do some clerical stuff. You know, you can, you know, I don't want you standing on the foot for, you know, 8, 10, 12 hours a day. You know, you can go back and and do some light duty stuff, some sedentary work is how he put it. Uh, So that's better. And and my job is great because they'll always work with you on that. They want you, you know, they want you there no matter what. Like they don't care what you can do as long as you can do something. They want you there. So I talked to my boss and uh I texted him that day and said, you know, I can come back like duty next week. I can probably case a route, something, you know, I can do something in the office, you know. Um and he says, "Okay, cool, no problem." And then actually I think it was yesterday. No, it must have been Tuesday. I do have been on Tuesday. Tuesday, Rochelle says, you should go to your work and, you know, say hi to everyone. And that's something that I never would have thought to do. I never, ever would have thought to do that. So I was like, okay, yeah, that's actually, you know, that's not a bad idea. I'll give that a try. So, um, so then last night I told her like, yep, I'm going to get up with you tomorrow, which is great. Actually made the day better because I didn't, the day before, I think it was Tuesday. I couldn't, yeah, it was yesterday, Wednesday, Wednesday, I ended up sleeping until 11 o'clock. And again, as great as that sounds to sleep for, you know, nine or 10 hours, by the time you get up and get out of bed and get moving for the day, like the day is already shot. Like you've lost so much fucking time. And Wednesday is my day to cook dinner. So I'm already like counting the hours of like, okay, this is how much time I have to get done the things that I want to do. So, um, so uh, yeah, so yesterday I slept until 11, and uh, so then this morning I got up with Rochelle. She got up at whatever, 7 o'clock, 7.15, something like that. I got up a few minutes later, and we both get moving for the day. Uh, right about, She left for work at like 8 o'clock or 8.15, and right after she left, I did my, my 15, 20 minutes of yoga, and then, um, and then I, you know, set out on my day, and I went to go visit some friends at work. By the time I got there, most of the people were gone for the day already. Um, most of everyone was already like, they had already finished. It was, must have been a late mail day. Everyone's already gone. They're already out on their routes and whatever. But there were a few people there, and the supervisors, including my postmaster, were there. So I stopped in, talked to them for a little bit. Um, me and my postmaster talked about you know kind of what I can do when I go back to work. I'm going back next Tuesday. Um, my, the nurse the other day said, look, I want you to take this week. I want you to, you know, continue to, even with the boot on, I want you to lay on the couch, have your foot up, um, get some of that swelling down. There's still just a little bit of swelling. It's just a tiny little bit of swelling. Um, nothing like it was before. And there's some bruising too. Um, so he was like, you know, keep your foot up, you know, keep your foot elevated for this week. And then next Tuesday you can go back to work, um, you know, kind of almost part-time, you know, four or five hours a day, which is better than no hours. So, 
So uh, I go, um, so I go in. I talk to my postmaster for a little bit, and I've always liked him. Like I've known this guy for, God, it's got to be, it's got to be like seven or eight years. I've known him. Um, he started, well, not started, but the first time that I met him, he was one of my supervisors, just a regular base level supervisor. And he was great. Uh, he comes from Massachusetts. So he's got like this thick Danvers, Massachusetts accent to him. Um, but super great guy. He's always been super helpful to, to me and, uh, just very friendly. And we always talk, you know, we always fucking bullshit around just about whatever. So, a boss that I really like. And, uh, and then he came in, you know, he left, uh, my post office in like 2016 to go be another supervisor at another office. And then he became postmaster at another office and bounced around as postmaster for a few different offices. And then, uh, he lands at my office again and, uh, and the position was open. So he put in for it to be the postmaster and he just got it a few weeks ago. And when he got it, I was like, yes, fuck yeah. I fucking, yeah, that's great. So I was really excited about that. So, but, um, so we talked for a little bit today. I talked to like one of my union stewards, just shooting the shit with him, you know, more so about shooting the shit with him than it was about anything union related or whatever. We were just talking about like, uh, how the accident happened and catching up and, um, I mean, I do feel that because I'm on the overtime list and, uh, and I'm not there right now. So he got forced in on overtime to do someone else's route. And I don't know how much that has to do with me not being there. You know, he might've gotten forced in no matter what to do something, but, um, but you know, I'm not there. So could have been, it could, you know, if I was there, maybe he, he would have been able to, uh, to take today off, but Oh, well, who knows? Um, but then, so check this out, right? So Tuesday, I get cleared to drive around. So almost immediately, Ro drove me to the doctor's on Tuesday morning. And we came home, and then she went to work. And then I almost immediately was, like, just so excited to, like, be able to be cleared to go out and around and walk around in this boot that I almost immediately jumped in my truck and went out. And super ambitious, too, because I was like, I'm going to fucking do, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go get a coffee and then I'm going to go across the city to Walmart and I'm going to go get a, a, a steak tip sub and then I'm going to go to the gym and then I'm going to go fucking do this. I had all these plans, right? And, uh, I got out of the house. I went to get my coffee. I went to the grocery store and then I was fucking beat. I was, I was like, I was fucking tired, uh, <laughs> which is crazy. Cause I went from running three to six miles a day down to, I mean, walking around on crutches is just, you know, putting me down for the night. So, um, so, uh, my, my mate just reminded me of a topic I got to talk about. Definitely. Um, I'll circle back around to that in a minute. Um, so, uh, so I go, so I go to market basket on Tuesday, right? Market Basket has great little electric carts. I got to ride around as an f- almost 40-year-old man. I finally got to ride around in the electric carts that I sat on as a child. Um, I remember being a kid sitting on those electric carts being like, this would be so cool to ride around the store on a little electric cart. And I'm almost 40, and, uh, and I finally got to do it. Uh, I went to Market Basket, and I sat on this fucking thing. And I'm sitting there playing with the buttons, playing with the little controls, like... What is going on? Why is this thing not moving anywhere? It took me a few minutes, but eventually I figured out that you have to unplug it before it will go anywhere. So I unplug it. I go around the store. I get the stuff that I need because um, I needed to get Tuesday. Like I said, Wednesday night I made dinner. So Tuesday afternoon when I went to Market Basket, I got the stuff that I would need the next night for dinner. So I get the stuff that I'll need and then, and then you know go check out and whatever. No big deal. And, uh, people were, you know, very nice. There there was, you know, some woman that was also a customer that asked me if I needed help getting my stuff out to my truck. And I said, no, thank you. But, uh, electric cart fun. It was great. Right now, fast forward to today, I go to Walmart and I left my crutches at the front 
door where I got my little electric cart. Excuse me. I go, I, I get on my electric cart, and I'm riding around the store. I stop at the deli to talk to my buddy Justin from 4HM Clothing. If you wanna, if you wanna, he he he's one of my sponsors. 4HM Clothing. If you use offer code Adulting, you'll get 10% off your entire order over fifty dollars. Um, so I stop. I talk to him real quick, um, and then I you know ride around the store. I go from the deli at the front of the store. I dry, I ride my cart all the way to the back of the store. Uh, I knew that we needed beer, so I. I was about to grab a beer and then I was like, eh, I don't want to put a 30 pack in the front of this fucking thing, you know, and then continue to ride around the store. So I'll just, uh, you know, I'll, I'll pick that up on my way home later. So, so I end up not getting anything at Walmart, but I do end up like I ride through the electronics area and I'm, you know, riding up and down the aisles there and, uh, and checking out the electronics and stuff. And then I ride to the, like the sporting goods section and I'm checking out that area and then I ride to the front of the store again. I'm making my way back around to the front door that I came in. Ride to the front of the store and uh, and I see kettlebells. And uh, I was like, oh, I should go back to the sporting goods section so that I can see like if they have any good like workout stuff that I might be able to use at home. So I'm riding back there. Now, when, this thing has like five bars on it. Yeah, and, like Imagine the bars on your cell phone for like, do you have service right now? Um... This thing has five bars on it. When I start, it has five bars on it to indicate how much battery it has, right? Five bars equals full battery. That's when I started, and that's where it stayed my whole ride through the store until I start going to the back of the store to check the sporting goods section. All of a sudden, it drops to four bars and then drops to three. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me right now? And... And then I'm like, okay, that's that's not good. Like, why is it just why is it at three now? And but I'm also thinking like, well, it was at five for the last you know 15 minutes or so. It was at five bars, and now it's at three, so I should be able to get like another 15 minutes out of this thing. So, but I was still like, ah, I don't want to risk it. I better start moving to the front of the store. So I start riding my little cart back to this front of the store, and on the way, it fucking goes two bars, and then it goes one bars, and then it starts beeping. And, uh, and I pulled into an aisle real quick. Cause I was like, well, you know, like I know that, you know, if you use like a, like a rechargeable, like, like drill, like a power drill, sometimes if you just stop using it, you can gain a little bit of time out of that battery. So I just stop it in the aisle real quick. And, and I'm like, I'll just fucking fuck with my phone for a minute. Well, guess what? Inside this Walmart, there's no goddamn cell service. So I sit there. I sit there for maybe two minutes. I'm like, all right, let's let's try this again. I start riding back towards the front of the store again, and this thing completely dies. It just stops. I pulled into an aisle, and it fucking just stopped. Um, so I had to get up out of this thing and then walk like I have the power of Jesus because I, you know, I've been riding around on this thing for the last half hour. Just, you know, because my my I get my leg in a boot, and now all of a sudden I can stand up and walk. So. I, uh, so I had to walk to the front of the store, back to my crutches, back up to my truck. And I have no idea what happened to that cart. Um, you know, I, I can't help but wonder if maybe someone did walk up on it and think a miracle happened here. Uh, someone, <laughs> someone rode there. Someone needed the cart because they couldn't walk. And, uh, and, and now they can walk because they just left the cart here in the middle of the aisle. So... That was my day today. Uh, mostly, that was pretty much my day today. Um, you know, I, after that, I went, I went and picked up a, a sub for myself and uh, and a salad for my mate, and then I went to her work and I visited her for a little bit, and then um, and then I uh, and then I went home. And again, I was super ambitious. Thought I was going to do all this stuff today, and uh, and then I got home and I was just like, I'm done. I'm tired. I can't even fucking do anything right now. So. Um, but you know, like I wasn't even going to do this tonight, but I ended here. I am doing it. Um, that's more or less. So I don't have to worry about doing it tomorrow. Um, but you know, the biggest reason really was because I did a show with my buddy Tom, uh, right before this on our new show called new England natives. Um, I posted a link to that show on the adulting Donnie, 
Adulting with Donnie Facebook page. If you look at the Adulting with Donnie Facebook page, there should be a StreamYard video there of me and uh, of me and Tom. Uh, our new show called New England Natives. It's not going to be a podcast. So if you're a podcast person listening to this right now, because that's where most of my audience comes, that's where most of my audience comes from, is from actual podcast apps. Um, that show is actually going to be pretty much YouTube. Um, I think it might be also Facebook, but uh, it's going to be pretty much YouTube. Um, so we are uh, we're doing that show, and we just we just shoot the shit about New England stuff. Um, New England news and history and folklore and conspiracy, all that bullshit. So, um, so after, uh, you know, I did that show and I was like, okay, well I'm here. I got my computer. I got everything set up. I may as well just do my show tonight too. So, um, but Valentine's day was this week. Happy Valentine's day, you know, belated to all, all of you that may be listened or saw that um joe my, joe from the bridge said uh you must look ridiculous on the electric cart it's usually a shriveled old woman yes exactly <laughs> not a seven foot tall viking uh yeah i thought i feel the exact same way um i'm riding around there in the cart when i used the cart at market basket i rode around with my sunglasses on so i looked like a blind person maybe um yeah it's absolutely you almost always exclusively an old woman uh, riding around on those carts, uh, and uh, and and instead there was me riding around with my sunglasses on, and uh, I think I even had my headphones on too. I was like, yeah, I'm I'm just here to I'm just here to do some shopping for some tacos. Um, but yeah, so Monday was uh was Valentine's Day. Me and Ro had an awesome Valentine's Day, our second Valentine's Day together. Um, we uh. We opted to do just desserts. We were initially three, four weeks ago had planned on cooking together that night. We were going to cook a meal together. Um, didn't quite work out that way. Not sure how well it would have worked out anyways because she ended up working kind of late that night. I don't think she got home until like seven or eight o'clock at night. So if we ended up cooking together, we would have been eating pretty late. Um, so. I, uh, because I'm laid up, I didn't have, so here's what happened, right? So I couldn't go anywhere for the first two weeks after this happened. I couldn't drive myself anywhere. So, um, so on Saturday, Ro surprises me last Saturday, the 12th. So we're two days leading up to Valentine's day. So she tells me on Thursday, um, she says, don't make any plans for Saturday afternoon. And I was like, good. Cause I'm not, I, I wasn't, I can't leave this fucking couch. So I can't make any plans. <laughs> um, if there's plans, you're making them and you're driving me. So like on Friday, uh, she came home from work, picked me up and then drove me over to Longhorn Steakhouse to, uh, to have drinks and, and some appetizers with, uh, with her mom and, and her friend or, or our friend, really, uh, this guy, Carl, that I used to work with. Um, he used to work with me. He retired. So I haven't seen him in years. I probably haven't seen him in six or seven years. Um, so, but anyways, we, uh, so we went over there and, and had drinks with them and it was fun. And then on Saturday, uh, Rose surprises me. She like, we get up and she's like, make sure you clean your beard, you know, make sure you, you know, you know, brush out your hair and whatever. And I'm thinking like, we're going to, we're going to like a lunch at a place that we haven't been before. Like we're going to some nice place. Like there's surf restaurant and there's Martingale wharf. There's a couple nice restaurants, downtown Portsmouth. So I'm thinking, you know, she's probably taking me to one of these places that we haven't been yet. And, um, cause we've been working our way. We're trying to hit every bar in Portsmouth. Right. So, um, we've been working our way through that list. So I'm thinking, okay, you know, and she says, you know, we have a reservation for, I think she said one o'clock, but it was actually one thirty. Um, she says we have a reservation and you know, you have to be ready at this time or whatever. So I get up on Saturday morning and, um, I think I showered and, you know, brush out my beard, brush my hair, make myself look good. And, um, and then we're driving and she was talking about getting a coffee, but you know, didn't have time cause we're running a little bit behind. It's almost one 30. And, uh, and she just turns on this one street in Portsmouth 
and then just stops on the sidewalk and she's like, okay, we're here. And we're standing outside of a place called Scuttlebutt, um, which is like a barber shop. Uh, you know, they'll, they'll, you know, do up your hair, do up your, your beard. It's a men's barber shop. And, uh, and we go inside and she paid for me. She paid for me to get, um, pampered essentially. Um, you know, this, she had talked to someone at work and that, you know, at her work and, that person told her like, Oh, you got to go to scuttlebutt and you got to see my girl, Rebecca. And, um, so Rebecca, you know, gave me a nice trim on my hair, cut off my like dead ends and stuff. And, uh, and then gave me a really nice beard trimming. Um, cause my beard was looking a little scraggly, I guess. So, uh, she had asked me like, what do you want to do? And, and I was just like, uh, I don't know. I mean, you know, I kind of like my, my long hair. So, I haven't had the dead ends cut off in a while. She ended up cutting off like two inches of my hair. Um, and then, uh, and then she gave me a really good beard trimming. Like I had my beard trim at this place in Epping, New Hampshire. I had my beard trimmed by this guy probably uh, four years ago or more. Um, I just went in one day. I just had the day off from work. I was driving by and I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll get a beard trim. And, uh, he trimmed my beard and it was like awful. It looked, it was so bad. I was like, okay, I'm never doing that again. This girl did it way better. Like it came out so much better. Um, she really took good care of me. So, and, and you know, you can't go wrong with a fucking, with a place where you walk in and they're like, do you want a beer? And they don't charge you for it. Um, that's always nice too. So I, uh, I, I had myself a couple bud lights while I, while I had my hair cut and then, uh, yeah, and then Ro came and picked me up, and we went out to lunch, and, um, but, uh, th- yeah, that's where I was going, was Valentine's Day, so she dri- so we drive to, uh, she drives me over to Rite Aid, because uh, that was the only place that I could really think to go with, you know, it's the only place that I can get around really quickly while she's in the car, while I buy her some Valentine's Day stuff, right, so. I go in, I buy, I, I buy what I want for Valentine's day. You know, she, she demands a, a chocolate heart. Um, you know, the biggest chocolate heart that you can find. So, uh, I find that and then I go and, um, and then we went out for drinks afterwards. So then Monday was Valentine's day and, uh, and I had a whole plan in my head because I was like, that's not what I got at Rite Aid isn't enough. Right. So Ro, I don't want to use the words hasn't let me go anywhere, but she's been very cautious, uh, or very concerned about letting me go anywhere before the doctor signed off on me being able to drive. Like I texted her one day and I was like, Hey, you know, I need, I'm, I'm out of my little Zin packs. Um, you know, I was thinking about going to the gas station to get them. And she was like, well, I'm going to come home in a little bit anyways. I'll just stop and get them for you. So, um, she's very, been very cautious about letting me, you know, not letting me, but about me going anywhere. Uh, during that first week or so, um, after surgery. So, um, so on Monday, I, what I did was I get in my truck and I started driving. And then when I started driving, I texted her and said, look, I know I haven't been signed off to drive or anything, but I, I'm, I'm going to be fine. I'm just going to three stores. I'll be back home in half an hour. And it ended up taking like 50 minutes, but I was like, I'll be back home in half an hour and, and you know, everything's fine and I'll keep you updated as I go through it. And, uh, so I went to, um, well, I went to Cumberland farms because I needed more Zen. And then I went to, uh, I went to a gro- I went to whole foods, uh, to get a cake. Cause like I said, we were doing desserts for dinner. So I went to whole foods to get a cake. And, um, and then I went to, uh, uh, the liquor store because there's this bottle of wine that she really likes. And, uh, so I went to the liquor store to buy her a bottle of wine and myself, a a small bottle of bourbon. Um, and, uh, and, and they were two totally different experiences. Oh, I also got her roses at whole foods. So I go to whole foods and I get my, I'm walking around on crutches. I didn't think to get a electric cart. I should have, I don't even know if they have them there. I don't remember seeing them, but, um, I'm walking around on my crutches trying to carry a basket and, uh, it's just not working out very well, right? Trying to use two crutches and a basket and move on one foot, not working out well. So I got these roses inside the basket and I walk up to these two girls who they're like having these two workers and they're having a conversation between the two of them. And 
they're not even like they don't even acknowledge that I'm walking down. The, and then I stop next to them and they won't even acknowledge I'm standing there until I was finally like, excuse me. And then the, can I help you? Like they give kind of an attitude. Can I help you? I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm looking for something. I was looking for candles and uh, they were like, yeah, they're right there. I was like, OK, great. And I walk by I walk back towards these candles and I get five feet away from them and the roses fall out of the basket and then neither one of them like offers to come over and pick up the roses for me i gotta fucking stand on one foot while i bend down to pick these roses oh i was so pissed i was unimpressed and then i get in line at whole foods and you know this i'm standing there again on crutches and this cashier is having like a whole conversation with the woman in front of me just taking up all this time I had a much better experience at the liquor store. I go to the liquor store, and uh, and um, as soon as I walked in, I grabbed the basket like I was going to, you know, like I was going to do the same thing I just did at Whole Foods. I grabbed the basket and I start walking, and I was like, I already know this is not going to work out well. I'm going to end up dropping a bottle of wine, and it's going to break on the floor. And uh, I turn and put the basket away. And before I can even say anything, one of the cashiers is like, can I, you know, do you want some help? I was like, I would love some help. You know, I just, I know exactly what I want. I, I just need someone to walk with me and get the things that I want. And they were like, yeah, sure. No problem. And they call this guy over and then he just walks with me. And we had a little conversation about how I broke my ankle and how he used to go snowmobiling. And, um, <coughs> hold on one second talking a lot more than I thought I would tonight. So, um, he used to go snowmobiling too. And, uh, and he follows me out to my truck to bring it out there and he sees my license plate. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and he says, uh, he says that, you know, his father used to go fishing up in Rangeley, Maine. And it was just a much better experience. Right. So, I get home and, and I spend the rest of the day kind of just chilling on the couch, right? But then Ro tells me that she's leaving work. So now I go upstairs and uh, I get changed into like a nice a nice pair of pants, a button-down shirt with a nice tie on it and, um, and, and one nice shoe because I could only wear one shoe. So I put one nice, I, I put one nice shoe on my one right foot and... Uh, and then I took one of those. I put all the roses in a vase when I got home. But then I took one of them out right before she got home so that I could, like, just be carrying that one rose. So she walks in the door and, like, she can't see me right away. And then I walked around the corner and I'm all dressed up and hand her my one rose. Um, and then we, it was nice. We just sat. She fucking went crazy uh, with – she went – all out the way that she does where she's got like this great little um dresser thing to go over the the dining room table it's all red and lacy and it's just very valentine'sy and then um and then uh she's got like all these little chocolates and all these kinds of desserts i brought one dessert i brought this one strawberry shortcake cake to the table literally and she's got all these different desserts that she found at like Market Basket and Hannaford and all these places, right? So, um, so she she's got all this stuff. But we had, it was fun to just sit there and like eat desserts and you know um, catch up on our days and yeah, just uh, just really nice. And then uh, we had planned to watch P.S. I Love You, and we never even made it that far because that's what that's how it always happens with us. We'll be fucking sitting at the at the dining room table with these grand plans of like, we're going to have dinner tonight. We're going to sit down. We're going to watch this show or, or we're going to sit down. We're going to fucking catch up on our day. I'm going to go shower. And then afterwards we're going to fucking watch this movie and whatever. And then our little dinner conversation at the table ends up taking until like midnight. Like I remember months ago we were going to, we were planning to do like a board game that we were going to play the board game. And then we were going to watch a movie. The board game ended up going so long that we were like, Okay, we're going to, you know, take a picture of the board game right now because it's 2 in the morning and we're both drunk. <laughs> we're going to take a picture of the board game right now and uh and we'll we'll pick this up another night. So but it was good. It was a good. It was an, it was a great Valentine's Day. Honestly, it was my favorite one. Um actually, I think that 
that night. That was Monday night. Yeah, it was mon- that was Monday night, and then Tuesday morning was my appointment. And because my appointment was a little bit later, we could both sleep in a little bit. So, um, so like usually the way that our night goes is that I will, um, I will, you know, pre broken ankle, ankle and post broken ankle. What the way that our night will usually go is that we will sit down, we'll have dinner, I will do dishes while she goes upstairs and takes a shower, and if we're lucky. Maybe she'll come back downstairs and we'll watch a show. We'll watch like a one hour show or something like that. That's how we want it to go, but it usually doesn't end up that way. Especially ever since I started going to the gym, I try to go to bed at like ten thirty or eleven. So I'm like, ah, it's, it's too late. I got to go to bed. You know, I got to wake up at four thirty or five in the morning. So I can't be up this late. Um, so we can't stay up wicked late. So um, we don't usually get to that show portion. So. This particular night, Valentine's Day night, um, she uh, she goes to take a shower. I'm thinking, you know, I'm gonna watch a couple episodes of Modern Family, and then I'm gonna, uh, you know, I'll meet you in bed. I didn't. I don't think I said I'll meet you in bed. I think I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna watch a couple episodes of Modern Family. So, I uh, so I get up, you know, she does dishes, whatever, and or maybe she let me. She might have let me do dishes that night. Um, either way, dishes got done, and then she goes upstairs to shower. I'm watching Modern Family, and it ends at like 11.30 or something like that. And uh, I shut the TV off. I get up, and I move my way over to the steps. And as I do, she looks down the steps, and she's like, I think I want to watch an episode of Reacher. I was like, okay, okay great. I'm, I go right back to the couch. I'm like, absolutely, I'm on board. I am absolutely on board. If the option is there, and my eyes are open, and she's standing there like, hey, I want to do anything. I want to fucking sit on the couch with you and talk. I don't care what it is. I'm going to be like, okay, good. I'm ready to go. Let's fucking do this. Um, so we, that's what we ended. That was our Valentine's Day. Um, you know, four or five hours, five or six hours of our Valentine's Day was us, you know, sitting at the table, shooting the shit, talking about our days, and... Uh, and then uh, watching Reacher, which is a fucking awesome show. Um, it's a really good show. It's uh, it, we're not done with it yet. We still have, I think we have three or four episodes to go. So, but now I'm gonna have to read the books. Uh, I didn't know that there were books. I probably would have read them, and by read I mean listen to them on Audible. Um, I probably would have read them a while ago uh, if if uh, I knew that there was books. Um, I only know that there's books because Rochelle was telling me that her sister was like, "Oh, the books are really good. I read all of them." So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna, you know, after I go back to work, I'm gonna have to get back. I'm gonna have to get back on that Audible shit and listen to all of the Reacher books. So, okay, this has been a, a longer episode than I planned. Honestly, it's been a longer episode than I've done recently. Um, I think that part of my tax return is going to be investing in a in a new uh, you know computer chair to sit in while I do these. Um, but uh, but this has been you know at least it's out of the way, and I got two episodes done in the month of February. I might even get a third one done, and uh, you know that puts me way above Jason Almy. I've done twice as many episodes in the month of February as Jason Almy has of shit, and I pay for that show. I pay for that show. And, and yet, and yet here I sit, uh, doing more episodes for free than he does for money. Um, Jason, you gotta step up your game. All right. You want to get more Patreon support. You're going to have to step that game up. Uh, I already mentioned 4HM. Um, you can also check out adameve.com. Uh, what are they doing now that Valentine's day is over? Let's see what's going on over at Adam Eve. Dot com. AdamEve.com. Uh, keep romance red hot. Um, let's see here. Best selling women's toys. Uh, the Satisfier Pro 2. Next generation. Over 475,000 sold. Uh, this is a very interesting looking uh, women's, women's use uh, apparatus. 
Um, looks like it has a very interesting way to charge it, actually. Which is cool. It's rechargeable. Everybody loves rechargeable. Um, uh, let's see here. Think a guy going down on you. Just more intense. That is a review from Cosmo. Uh, enjoy toe curling oral whenever and wherever you are. Uh, experience some of the same sensations of oral sex with stimulating puffs of air. Focus on your clit for maximum thrills with a scoop-shaped tip. Uh, experiment with 11 different speeds, ranging from low to high. Uh, get wet and wild in the shower or tub with the new waterproof stimulator. Six and a half inches long by 1.5 inches wide. Uh, made with silicone tip and ABS plastic handle. Rechargeable stimulator runs up to 30 minutes uh, with a magnetic USB charger included. Uh, and that runs for uh, $60, but if you use offer code adulting, you'll get 50% off of that, uh, bringing it down to like 30 bucks, um, plus free shipping, plus you know 10, 10 free gifts, uh, six free D D D D DVDs, a gift for him, a gift for her, a gift for both of you. Um, so have fun with that. Go to AdamEve.com, peruse their website, find out other stuff, uh, that, that might, uh, that you might enjoy. Um, you know, your significant other, give her a belated, uh, Ad uh, Valentine, <laughs> Adam, give her a belated Adam and Eve day, uh, gift. Uh, shouldn't that be what it's called? Adam Eve day. I mean, isn't really St. Valentine's day, just a mixture of the original, um, you know, Catholic, uh, Adam and Eve, right? It's got to be true. It's got to be true. I made it up five minutes ago. Um, so, all right. Uh, <laughs> my darling girlfriend posted a, an emoji with her hand up, and, uh, and, and Joe from the bridge said, so many Jack Reacher books. Yeah, I know. I already looked up the series order and saw that I have, uh, I have a lot to catch up on. Um, well, well, man, I just, I just want to know, like, what else is popular on Adam and Eve now? Um, let's see here. There's a bunch of rabbits. You know, if you have ever looked at this stuff, you already know what a rabbit is. There are so many variations of the rabbit. It's incredible. Uh, you can, I mean, Adam and Eve, it's, it's, it's pretty, they, you can filter things down to color, length, and width if you really, and even material. How many different materials do you want? Faux leather? How about that? You want faux leather? They have three options for faux leather. What are you looking at? What? Here? Oh, good. You do have pants on, right? Yeah, I'll see you. <laughs> I couldn't tell when you first walked in. I was like, do you have pants on? I have the camera going. <laughs> Before 11. <laughs> what was the first one you were looking at? Oh, That's the... what I raised my hand for. Okay, let's see here. Let me get back there. Um... This one right here. Oh, God. That looks like one of those facial The Satisfier Pro. That looks like a face exfoliant. That's that, exactly what it looks like, a little face scrubber. I, I thought it looked familiar. And it's not, it doesn't have to pay that much. You can get them for like <laughs> 10 bucks. <laughs> Maybe you want to Hey, do. you mean, what you mean to say is go to Adam Eve. Adam and Eve. <laughs> you can spend your money uh, sponsored by baby. Excuse that's what me. You, yeah. That's what you mean to say is go to Adam Eve. That looks Eve. like a very quality. But look um, at all these rabbits. There's a, there's a rabbit there. There's yeah. a rabbit there. There, there's well, that's a big dick. There's that's a it's kind of a small rabbit. Look at that, like iridescent blue dolphin. They have a Love Sense Lush Three Bluetooth. What is that? That looks like the thing from that like does Alien look like a, that a pops Venus out of stomach and jumps on somebody's face. Venus Butterfly it. Remote Venus G. Oh no, no, no! There's too many. Movie what parts. is that? I that is, you're absolutely you can't right. Hide I that one in your fully purse. agree. That there's way too mm. many moving parts. No. That is right a price lot. Though, 69, yeah, yeah, sixty nine ninety five. <laughs> oh. With offer code adulting, you get that yeah. down to like thirty five bucks. Thirty eight. Let's see here. Don't don't undersell these people. Um, how about a frisky pink bedroom restraint kit? <laughs> <laughs> really? I get that from work. It's back ordered. <laughs> no, we don't need that. We have plenty. <laughs> we have we have enough restraints. Yeah, I gotta... Uh, let's see here. Fifty Shades of Grey, Inner God, the Silver Jingle Bells. Where do those go? Where? Do... <laughs> you're so you're so innocent. <laughs> My mate is so innocent. What's on for him? What are you gonna buy me from AdamEve.com? Hold on. How about a Baldo? <laughs> what is that? 
Oh, look at that. Look at the image on that. Oh, that looks uncomfortable. I don't want that. Like <laughs> I don't want anything Smushing to do with that. Smushing a marshmallow into a light socket. I That's don't want that. that. Like. Love dolls. I'm not going to get you that part. I'd like to know what the difference is between just a, a sex toy and a gay, gay sex toy. toy. Why do I need a specific area for gay sex toy? Because snug tugger penis ring. It seems like a lot of these gay sex toys would end up in the in the regular sex toy section. Well, that's different. The, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. This the frisky, frisky foxtail. Fox You've never seen that. Oh. The frisky foxtail. I've seen a horse tail. Yeah. Mm, why can't you just wear the little belt thing? That goes in your butt. Oh, duh. That, go, that, that end goes in your butt, oh, and okay. then you have a tail. That's why it's called anal plug, honey. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have that's a tail. That's not where the fox's tail comes out of. Why, why, like, I'm surprised that, you know, I... All right, time for bed. Okay. Yeah, it's time to go. Yeah. You've done your equal opportunity sex toy talk. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Thank you, mate, for joining. Oh, You're welcome. Check out who who chimed in on the comments. (laughs) Hey, Stan! (laughs) Stan! (laughs) Stan is here. Excuse me? Yeah. Stan, we gotta get to Nashua. We gotta get to Stacy. Yeah, we gotta get to Nashua and meet up with Stan and Stacy. I love you. I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> okay, I'm fine with that. I'm down if you are. Okay, fine. All right. Like I said, that's going to do it for me. Uh, 4HM Clothing, AdamEve.com. Both you can use offer code adulting. 4HM gets you uh, 50, uh, 50, 10% off any order over $50. Adam Eve gets you 50% off any one item over 50 uh any one item in general, 50 fifty percent off any one item, free shipping, free gifts, all this stuff. All right, goodbye. <laughs>